What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Are you sure? Without Nocturnal's blessing, I'm not sure how much chance we stand against Mercer. I had hoped you'd keep an open mind, but no matter. But by all means, keep the armor. May it serve you in our fight against Mercer. It's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. It's over. Twenty-five years in exile, and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. After everything we've been through, you'd walk the path of Mercer? Being a Nightingale is a mutually beneficial transaction. It's not a prison to be freed from. She... she gave me a chance to prove my worth again. Things are not what they seem to be. I can't believe that. No matter what you want to do, the key's true power can only be unlocked at the Twilight Sepulchre. One way or another, you will have to return the key to Nocturnal. I hope you'll come to your senses when we meet again there. Until then, I must think. I sense a Daedric artifact in your possession. But it's not just any artifact. It's the skeleton key of Nocturnal. I am a Vigilant of Stendar, dedicated to eradicating Daedric influence from our world. While my colleagues hunt the heretics of Dagon and Molag Bal, I seek to end the reign of the Dark Mistress, Nocturnal. My grandfather would often tell me stories about Nocturnal's invasion of the Crystal Tower centuries ago. She would use any soul, betray any ally for her dark purposes. No crime is too dirty, as long as she can encroach the world in darkness. I will not allow her dark reign to happen in my lifetime. I ask that you give me the skeleton key, so that I can purge Nocturnal's presence in Mundus forever. I am a vigilant, not a guard. Your profession is not for me to judge. But if I destroy the key, you will still get what you want. The Skeleton Key does not only unlock the passage to Everglow, it also leeches on our world's fortune. With it destroyed, whatever luck it has imprisoned will be given back to our world. We'll rid our world of Nocturnal's influence. Is that not good enough for you? Fine. I'll also reward you in gold and offer you a blessing against Nightwalkers and Assassins alike. Not yet. The key is closed to us for now, and nothing I do can damage it. But once you've brought it to the heart of Nocturnal's temple, the key will unlock itself. After that, I will be able to destroy it. This will be a perilous journey. Nocturnal will become aware of the key's arrival, and she will do everything within her ability to keep it there. But do not falter against her shadows, for you shall bear the light of our hope. Had fun playing with my key? I am a Nightingale too, remember? I could have run away with the key and unlocked my fate from Nocturnal. But your meddling has costed me my freedom. I only did what any true thief would have done. Who are you to judge me? How commendable. Do you expect me to bow before you in gratitude? That you would free me when I could have done so myself? No, you fool. Did you think I would let you take the key to the Evergloam alive? I have another chance to kill you again. Not for Nocturnal, not for the key. I'll see you dead for the sake of it.
What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. Hand me the key. Slavery, they signed their fates to me willingly. Just as you sealed your fate when you defied me. Let your carcass be fed to the ravens. I'll bury my blade in your in eternal misery, and by then, my darkness will devour your last hope. Now we're free from Nocturnal forever. Perhaps one day Gallus and I will meet again in the afterlife. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. I may have been a nightingale, but in my heart I'll always be a thief, and I'm damn good at what I do. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. Gallus! I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Let's leave this place behind. Before I met you. I thought being bound to Nocturnal was my only destiny. But you showed me that she was never fair to me. When I thought it through, I realized that you, Gallus and I, deserved to be free. And the truth is, none of these tragedies would have happened had we not been seduced by Nocturnal's offer. I've decided to return to the Guild, now that they've welcomed me back. Nightingale or not, I will always be a thief. Let's see how Skyrim security fares against the best of us. Now he's in a better place, freed from servitude to Nocturnal. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the sh- When you freed the Nightingales from Nocturnal, their shadows have also been released to our world. With that, it seems we'll have our luck again. Farewell. Hmm. It's good to see you in one piece, lad. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. The Guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the Skeleton Key? So even after all this, I still deserve a chance at Sovngarde. That's it then. After all those years of helplessly watching the Guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex, to make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. 
Here's to the future of the guild. May it last another thousand years. Okay, Lot. Ready to make some coin. I would have sold my soul to Molag Bal himself if it meant serving the guild and you. But you've given me a second chance to live my own life. Maybe an afterlife again. That, my friend, is something I can never repay. <laughs>